Senator Warren has been very strong in making it clear that we have a corrupt political system. Bernie Sanders reacted to Elizabeth Warren dropping out of the 2020 race. And it appears he's trying to court her endorsement if he doesn't have it already. Now, I'm also going to show you, uh, after I show you this clip of Bernie Sanders, I'm going to show you what one of her staffers has just recently said on Twitter about who he's backing. And as well, I'm going to show you uh, Joe Biden's reaction on Twitter and compare that to Bernie Sanders and his reaction on Twitter and maybe what this hints at. So first, let me show you uh, Bernie Sanders reacting to Elizabeth Warren dropping out of the race. On a very strong issue oriented campaign. Uh, and the reason that her campaign ideas will remain viable for many, many years is she has changed political consciousness in America, which at the end of the day is the most important thing that any candidate could do. Uh, what Senator Warren has successfully done is raise the issue of income and wealth inequality and the idea that we need a wealth tax in America. And some of you may have noticed that just a few days ago, Robert Root, former Secretary of Treasury, uh, under Bill Clinton, said, you know what? Sanders and Warren are talking about a wealth tax. Uh, maybe that's something we have to consider. Now, these are uh, a titan uh, from Wall Street. Uh, Senator Warren has been very strong in understanding that the current health care system is dysfunctional. She had differences of opinion with me about how to best go forward. But she remained a staunch advocate for Medicare for all. And believe me, that issue will become more and more apparent to the American people as we deal with this coronavirus and the idea that there are millions of people in America today who are unable to go to a doctor even when they have symptoms of this terrible illness because they have no insurance, they don't have any money. And what Senator Warren has said from day one and what I say is that health care is a human right. We should not be spending twice as much per capita on health care as the people of any other nation and have 87 million uninsured or underinsured just to make huge profits for the drug companies and the insurance companies. Senator Warren has been strong on that. Uh, Senator Warren has been very strong in making it clear that we have a corrupt political system in which billionaires are buying elections. And right now, uh, what you're seeing is uh, Wall Street opening up its checkbook to uh, Joe Biden. Uh, you're seeing uh, Mike Bloomberg uh, worth some $60 billion prepared to support uh, Joe Biden. And, and that is what a corrupt political system is. What democracy is, is one person, one vote. What a corrupt political system is, our billionaires buying election. And Senator Warren has been very, very strong on that. Uh, and Senator Warren obviously has been very strong on the issue of women's rights. And right now we know that throughout this country, women are under political assault. We're seeing it at the Supreme Court level, we're seeing it at the state legislative level, we're seeing it in Congress, where you have politicians who want to take away, among many other things, a woman's right to control her own body. And Senator Warren has been a leader in fighting to protect women's rights. So, uh, Today is a difficult day for Senator Warren. I have known Senator Warren for uh, some 20 years, and she is very focused, uh, very disciplined, very hardworking. Uh, and today, I would simply say to her supporters out there, of whom there are millions, uh, we are opening the door to you. Uh, we love you to come on board. Uh, together, I think we can win this primary process. Together, we can defeat uh, the most dangerous president uh, in the uh, modern history of America. So to all of Senator Warren's supporters, we would welcome them uh, to be on board. So Bernie Sanders there, not only trying to endorse uh, or trying to, sorry, court uh, Elizabeth Warren's endorsement, but also speaking to Elizabeth Warren supporters and how, yes, indeed, you all have a home in the Bernie Sanders movement, in this people-powered movement. And I'm already seeing a lot of responses online, uh, a lot of tweets online, a lot of accounts uh, discussing how they supported Warren and now they're supporting Bernie Sanders. Because, look, looking at the issues, I mean, it's clear if you actually care about the issues, care about 
uh, Medicare for all, care about canceling student debt, care about a Green New Deal, care about raising wages, care about um, getting the influence of big money out of politics. All of these issues and more, if you care about them, you're going to back the candidate, the only candidate left in the race that is actually fighting for them, and that's Bernie Sanders. Now, the other part of this is, look, the Warren endorsement is very important. Because right now, Bernie Sanders is not winning over uh, the, prof uh, the professional managerial class, the, the suburban vote. And that's where Elizabeth Warren had her support. We're talking, you know, academics, scientists. So these are people that uh, would definitely help the Bernie Sanders campaign if they had them on board. Because Bernie has young people. Bernie has a very diverse, multiracial coalition. But he is lacking support from the suburbs. And Elizabeth Warren's endorsement would definitely help with that. Now, let me show you, um, before I show you Joe Biden's response, as well as what uh, Bernie Sanders said on Twitter, I want to show you what a former Warren staffer on her campaign uh, just said on Twitter. So this is uh, Max Berger. He is, uh, or he was the director for Progressive Partnerships for Elizabeth Warren. He was very active on Twitter, a high profile um, supporter of Elizabeth Warren. He just uh, recently tweeted this out. Today, I will mourn Elizabeth Warren and her incredible campaign. Tomorrow, I'll start fighting for Zaid Bernie, LFG together. So this is at least partially a good sign here. When you have a uh, major uh, Warren uh, member of Warren's campaign come out and support Bernie Sanders publicly, it's a good sign that a lot of other people on the campaign feel the same way and potentially even um, Elizabeth Warren herself feels the same way. But we're going to have to wait and see. So I already talked about this mostly in my live stream on the breaking news when Elizabeth Warren was dropping out. But um, don't expect an endorsement today. It's Thursday right now. Expect an endorsement within the next seven days, hopefully before the next states uh, begin to vote. If she will endorse Bernie Sanders, then I think she would do it before the next voting states. Um, otherwise, she may just sit out the race altogether and see who wins. But... Hopefully, she sees the opportunity here to really um, uh, push these ideas forward through the Bernie Sanders campaign, as many of her supporters are seeing that opportunity. So now let me show you uh, what Joe Biden said on Twitter. And it kind of gives you an indication of maybe where Elizabeth Warren is leaning here. So Joe Biden tweets out, Senator Elizabeth Warren is the fiercest of fighters for middle class families. Her work in Washington, in Massachusetts, and on the campaign trail has made a real difference in people's lives. We needed her voice in this race, and we need her continued work in the Senate. Her continued work in the Senate. If Elizabeth Warren was going to be a part of Joe Biden's administration, she wouldn't be in the Senate. So, look, uh... Maybe we're reading too much into it, or I should say maybe I'm reading too much into it. Um, but it does appear like maybe Joe Biden uh, knows something that the rest of us don't. But again, this is just pure speculation. We have no idea. Uh, let me show you uh, now Bernie Sanders' reaction, and you can really you know, compare the two, uh, the, the two reactions here and how different they are. Bernie Sanders tweets out, Elizabeth Warren has taken on the most powerful corporate interest because she cares about those who have been left behind. Without her, the progressive movement would not be nearly as strong as it is today. I know that she'll stay in this fight, and we are grateful that she will. Senator Warren has run an extraordinary campaign of ideas, demanding that the wealthy pay their fair share, ending corruption in Washington, guaranteeing health care for all, addressing climate change, tackling the student debt crisis, and vigorously protecting women's rights. So... Bernie Sanders has this very comprehensive, <laughs> detailed response, you know, in addition to the, the video that I showed you, but even on Twitter, uh, a much more detailed response to uh, Warren dropping out than Joe Biden does. And uh, again, you know, no mention here about her fighting in the Senate like Joe Biden. This is about her being uh, or staying in the fight and being grateful that she is. So, look, before this, I was based on how Elizabeth Warren has been... Um, acting in this campaign so far, and really just her general unwillingness to challenge the Democratic Party establishment publicly, and now seeing a unified corporate wing of the Democratic Party with Joe Biden, I just didn't feel like, based on that alone, that she would come out and uh, and back Sanders here. Because, look, 
from her perspective, the, the way she's been acting, she would view it as a bit of a risk to back Bernie at this point. Uh, but I think those of us that are a little more aware understand that if she does back Bernie, she would, you know, take back or she would bring back all of the support, all the progressive support uh, that she may have lost uh, to Bernie Sanders. All of that would come back to her, especially if they can actually, uh, you know, bring her in this fight and Bernie win, uh, wins the next critical states and begins to really grow the momentum through the rest of the primary. There's still two thirds of the states left. So, you know, if anybody's telling you the race is over, like cable news may be doing that, it's nowhere near over. Uh, in terms of delegates, they are very, they're within 100 delegates of each other, Bernie and, and Biden. All Bernie has to do is win some key critical states going forward, and the momentum can completely shift around, especially if once the, once the next debate happens, you are going to see a clear difference. where <laughs> Joe Biden is barely coherent Whereas Bernie Sanders is obviously, I mean, we know Bernie Sanders and how well he performs in debates. He has incredible ideas, inc an incredible platform, a 40-year fight, authenticity, and he's able to also deliver those lines and, you know, speak coherently, unlike <laughs> Joe Biden. So I think it's, look, I think it's, in terms of electability, it's totally obvious who is the most electable candidate here. Bernie Sanders is able to bring out a lot of people that didn't come out in 2016, young people, independents, key voters when it comes to voter turnout in 2020 against Donald Trump, whereas Joe Biden, his support is all people over 45, mostly people over 65. You're not going to win an election with that. You need young people to come out in 2020. Bernie Sanders does that. And if Elizabeth Warren can join the campaign and really bring that other piece of the puzzle into it, the suburban voter into it, we got ourselves a winner here. So look, let's hope it happens. Um, my hopes are uh, a little higher now than maybe they once were that she will actually come out and, and endorse uh, Sanders. But we're going to have to wait and see.